everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today we are going to make salmon croquettes. These are delicious and you can either use fresh or canned salmon, whatever you decide. I had canned salmon in my pantry, so that's what I'm going to use today. But you need a cup and a half of it is what you need total. And we're going to start by sauteing a quarter cup of onion in two tablespoons of butter. I don't know if you can hear it sizzling or not, but it's not going to take long to get this going here. These couldn't be shaped, I think, into any size that you want and any shape that you want. Some people do it in patties. We're going to do ours in bricks just little small bricks. <laughs> and we're gonna coat the edges with breadcrumbs and then brown them on all sides. And I think that is part of why these are so delicious is they've got the, all of the edges are browned. <laughs> so you're in for a treat. They're so delicious. Okay, looks like our onion already is soft and translucent. So we're just going to add then four tablespoons of flour. One, two, And we're just going to stir this to combine it. We're also making a paste or a kind of a roux actually, I think is what you'd call it. All right, there we go. Let's get everything combined. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and add our one cup of milk. And we're going to stir this until everything is very thick. All right, I'm going to grab a whisk. Once we have this very thick, kind of gravy-ish, then we're going to remove it from the heat and stir in one fourth cup of dry breadcrumbs and the salmon. And that's all there is to this part. So it's really fast. This was my Grandma Ada's recipe, and so just kind of a family treat. All right, we're almost there. Okay, we've got it nice and thick. We're going to remove this from the heat and take it over to the counter and add in the breadcrumbs and the salmon. And we're adding one fourth cup of breadcrumbs. And these are the breadcrumbs that I did in a previous video, so kind of fun to see how to use those. And I will link to that video also so that you can see it, how to do that. It's very simple. All right, got our salmon added. Let's just get this mixed up here. And I used 
two six ounce cans of salmon. All right, this looks perfect. Get it nice and incorporated. Okay, at this point you can decide what shape you want to do. We're going to do the small rectangles, or i.e. bricks. There's kind of my brick. And what we're going to do is I'm going to put it on this parchment lined baking sheet and it's going to go in the refrigerator then till this evening till we're ready to cook it for dinner. And in the meantime, while they're refrigerating or cooling and setting, because you also another reason you want to do that in the refrigerator is so that the flavors can combine, but also so it'll set up. While these are chilling in the fridge, we're going to make a lemon dill aioli to put on the top of these. You can use tartar sauce once they're all baked. Um, I don't really care for tartar sauce with my salmon, so I'm going to make a lemon dill aioli, and it's super simple. It's basically tartar sauce, but without the pickle relish in it. So we'll use dill and lemon juice and um, mayonnaise. I was concerned that the mixture might be a little too hot to form into my shape, but it's not. It's just warm. It's perfect. I can't really think of a better way of doing this where it's not so messy. If you have any ideas, let me know. I'd love to know because it is kind of messy, but that's okay. Hands wash. All right, these are ready for the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and put them in there to chill, and then we'll be back and we'll make our aioli to go with it. So let's go ahead and make our lemon dill aioli. And Let's see here, all we need is a half cup of mayonnaise. So we've got that right here. And then we need a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Oh, no, 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 let's go in order. Uh, lemon juice, one tablespoon. And this is to taste. So if you like more lemon in it, then I say add more lemon. If you like less, then add less. All right, a tablespoon of Dijon. That's gonna give it some kick. So our mayo is pretty bland without it. Okay, and then we've got two teaspoons of dill weed. There we go. You can use fresh or dried, whichever you'd like. And an eighth teaspoon of salt. And it already smells good with that dill added in there. Okay, we're just going to mix this. And again, let's get a whisk. I'll probably make it go a little faster. You see how delicious that looks? That will be so good on our croquettes. All right, let's take a little taste and see what we think. See if we need anything else in that.
Okay, it's really mustardy. Let's add more lemon. <laughs> I'm going to add another tablespoon and another teaspoon of dill. There we go. And actually, I also like that consistency better because we've it's not really going to be a dipping sauce. It's more going to be um, something that we drizzle over the top. So we've got that all ready to go. And I'm going to just put it in a little container that will fit easily in the refrigerator. So it can chill and the flavors can blend. All right, let's get these croquets, or <laughs> croquets, croquettes <laughs> cooking. I've got some oil and some butter in the skillet here. We're just going to set these in here. So what we're going to do is brown them on every side. All right, we've got these browned on all four sides and they just look delicious. Let's go ahead and get them on a plate and then we'll put some aioli on them. And these are somewhat soft, so they're not going to be a finger food. All right. Let's go ahead and drizzle some of our aioli over the top here. And it did have time to, the aioli was able to sit and have the flavors blend together and it just tastes delicious. All right, there we have our salmon croquettes and they just look delicious. And I hope you enjoy these. I hope you have a chance to make them. And if you do, please let me know because I would like to know what your thoughts are on these. Thank you so much and have a great day.